Hello everyone, welcome to the Sam. That is a study art, motivation, and education. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the glossodynia. Now, what is glossodynia? Glossodynia that means a uh, painful term. Okay. Now, there are some terminologies which you have to remember. Okay. Glossodynia and glossalgia is also known as a uh, painful term. Okay. Uh, glossopyrosia uh, is means burning sensation of tongue. Lingual paresthesia or dysthesia that means there is a discomfort in tongue and stomo uh, stomatodynia that means the oral the whole oral cavity is involved not just the tongue but the whole oral cavity is involved is involved so the, uh, there will be a painful oral cavity or the burning sensation will be there not only on tongue but other parts of the oral cavity too okay so uh, here uh, stomatodynia is this and it can also we can also call it stomato uh, pyrosis that means burning sensation of whole oral cavity or oral uh, dysthesia that means lingual paresthesia may, uh, that means lingual paresthesia means your uh, uh, discomfort in tongue and if there is a discomfort in whole oral cavity that means oral dysthesia coming to the etiology so we will first see local factors and systemic factors in local factors uh, there is oral habits okay in oral factors uh, there will be oral habit so it can be tobacco smoking or uh, um, alcohol okay uh, dental cause can be there referred pain can be there sanitizers can be there L uh, local tongue disorders can be there um, it uh, for example median rhomboid glossitis okay so if the patient have median gro or, or rhomboid glossitis they may also develop uh, uh, glossodynia obviously the tongue will, uh, will be painful in that condition okay then uh, atherosclerosis changes can be uh, there and due to allergy also or the patient can develop glossodynosis then systemic factors coming to systemic factors so there are multiple uh, diseases which can associate in which uh, the glossodynia is the symptom okay so uh, multiple myeloma amyloidosis then hyperestrogenism, vitamin B deficiencies, aerostomia, gastric disturbances and gas, in gastric disturbances there can be uh, a lot of things like uh, acidity or uh, or it can be anything okay and then diabetes then pellagra, pernicious anemia can be there uh, if we talk about neurological factors so there will be term, uh, trigeminal neuralgia, damage of lingual nerve after surgery then glossopharyngeal sclerosis or cerebrosclerosis okay if Bo all these three um, factors are not there and uh, other thing is there so it can be idiopathic so the idiopathic fourth one the etiology is idiopathic um, here we can say uh, it can be due to depression or cancerophobia or neurosis okay coming to the clinical features now what is in clinical features there are two types change of pain, uh, nature of pain and change in tongue nature of pain is important uh, there will be a burning sensation tingling and numbness of the pain and in changes of tongue they may occur as observable and non-observable some symptoms can be observable and some can not be observable okay uh, then management of tongue so firstly we will do uh, removal of local cause okay if uh, if the they, uh, if it is related to muscles then we will go uh, we will give muscle relaxation uh, relaxants okay now in muscle re uh, relaxants what we will give we will give diazepam and if there is a, a pain in a tongue that is glossodynia is due to malocclusion then we will do correction of malocclusion okay then management of systemic problems Abhi, uh, we have seen uh, systemic factors okay so now uh, if uh, there is a systemic uh, problem then we have to first cure the systemic problem okay then surgical we can do and lastly uh, topical treatment in topical treatment we will mainly give uh, topical analgesics uh, that is 0.5 percent of uh, diphenyl we will give 0.5 percent of uh, diphenhydramine alone or it can be mixed with 0.5 percent of dichlorine or lidocaine okay uh, Tyclocaine and lidocaine. Uh, so these are the things about uh, glossodynia. I hope this video will help you in your academics and if it does then I would be really really grateful and thank you so much for watching this video. If you want the, uh, the notes of this topic just uh, comment down your mail id and I will share it to you on drive and yeah I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.